everyone, this is Vicki from Fa Messy Table Studio, sorry. <laughs> um, I have a project here that I saw on Pinterest that I'm a little nervous about doing because let me give a disclaimer. First of all, I know I've made it abundantly clear that I really hate to sew. I don't mind sewing paper because that's a little more predictable for me, but sewing this will not be. My grandmother died my paternal grandmother died many years ago and the family boxed up a bunch of her belongings and sent them to me like uh, costume jewelry, some framed uh, photos of family members and this was in one of the boxes that I got. Uh, let me go over these one at a time. These are doilies. Ooh, that's half a doily. No, well, it looks like it. Nope, was crocheted that way on purpose. Okay, so this is one half of a pineapple pattern. Isn't that pretty? I don't know who made these with, other than my, they were in possession of my grandmother. I, I don't know anything else about them, who made them or what. Um, I don't know if they were manufactured in a foreign country. I was kind of hoping my grandmother made these, but honestly, I do not know. All right, so that's the first one. This is the first time I've looked at them. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know exactly. Okay, look at it on camera. It looks like it was a pineapple pattern, but I don't get this part. Oh, maybe it's supposed to go like this. Huh? No, still confused. Okay, so I have two that look like that. There's a second one here that looks exactly like the first one. And you can just overlay it. Okay, so that's those two. Like I said, I've never, I've dug these out of the box. I have not looked at them. Oh, here's another one. I See, I don't understand these where it's not... Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, this is this one. <laughs> Just, maybe it's supposed to be roughly. I, I'm not... I don't know. But shouldn't this lay down flat there? Why would you do half like this? Maybe it went on a table where the back was straight and the front was curved? Oh, or it could have gone on the back of a chair to keep your hair from leaving a mark on the back of the chair, possibly. Maybe that's why it's kind of straight on the back and more roundable on this part. How about that? Um, I don't think this is a lapel sort of thing. Nope. There are, seems to be a lot of pineapple patterns in this group. Okay. Here are... Two more that really should be blocked, but like I said, I just got them out of the box. And there's the second one. So there's two of a kind, like the other ones. These look like, I don't know. I think these were all done with some kind of cotton thread. You know, I can kind of see this knot is not woven in. So these... This one, I can tell, is handmade. This one also is because the knot's not woven in. It's worked its way out, or it wasn't even woven in to begin with. So there's two of those. Then I have this big one. This one is pineapples also. Now, this looks like this might have laid on top of a table. Man, you can really see the pattern in the camera when I show it, can't you? Look at that. Pineapples all over the place. Lovely. Okay, so in the video, this is where I'm going to insert a Photoshop of what it is I intend to make or mm, attempt to make. I don't think these are so precious that I cannot cut them up or use them for jelly prints or something else because I really am not sure my grandmother made these. And even if she did, they're, I, I'm not going to use these in my house. I'm, I'm, I don't use doilies. But... I want to preserve some of them in a way that, you know, would be cute. Like I said, I saw a pattern on, or a project on Pinterest that I would really like to try using these. Now, I did ask somebody a question. If I iron these onto Pellon or some kind of a glued surface for sewing, interfacing, I guess, can't, will it stick to that so that I can sew it? I, I'm just not sure how to do this. I think I'm really going to have to go th through with the machine and sew randomly this stuff on here or by hand, which just uh, 
does not appeal to me at all. So I gotta, I, I need to do a little more research into how this person created these things that I want to do before I start a project. But this is going to be the next project that I attempt. It might take me a week or two to get a good handle on it, but I wanted to show you the doilies because I really don't have um, targeted video content for this week. But I thought maybe this would be interesting to those of you who like doilies about, I know people go to shops to find these. There's some other doilies in the box that are colored doilies. I really don't want to fool with them. I want to leave them the way they are. I'd rather cut up these first before I go into a colored doily to make sure I practice on these first before I do the others. I don't know if I will use these for jelly prints. Probably not. I'd rather crochet something and use my own stuff than to do this. But I'm going to make something that will preserve these. So that's it for my video for this week on Tuesday. Um, short and sweet. So I will see you guys in the next video next week. Bye.